If you've got as many kids as Angelina Jolie and a bankroll to match, I may have a vehicle for you. It's the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, a huge three-row SUV. Perhaps the brain trust at Stellantis was thinking, why should BMW, Mercedes, and Audi get all the money? If you've got a lot of money, a large family, and believe that there's no such thing as too much of a good thing, then this might be the vehicle for you. It's the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer, a luxury three-row SUV. Get in. It's time for Family Wheels. As we get rolling, a request. Give Family Wheels a like. It's a small gesture, but helps the channel succeed. So does subscribing and clicking the little bell to be notified of new episodes. Comments are welcome, of course. Thanks for your support. So, the Grand Wagoneer. It's huge, packed with luxury and power, and it's really expensive. So, who is it aimed at? My view, it's aimed directly at people who might be buyers of the Lincoln Navigator or the Cadillac Escalade, which are basically the, the standards in this field. This is a very American luxury like the Escalade and like the Navigator. The Grand Wagoneer and regular Wagoneer ride in the same underpinnings and are all new for 2022. The Grand Wagoneer comes in three trims signified by Roman numerals. And if that great empire had modern automobiles, this would likely be near the top. Our spec is the Series 3 and seemingly lacks for nothing. Here's a partial list. Power running boards because it's quite a climb. Air suspension, 22 inch wheels, electronic rear differential, active driving assistant and active cruise control with stop and go. Full active safety suite, head-up display, automated parking, 360-degree outside camera view, inside camera covering the rear seats, panoramic sunroof and separate moonroof for the third row, massaging front seats that are heated and ventilated, second row seats heated and ventilated, Macintosh audio systems, one of the oldest and costliest names in American sound, front passenger display that interacts with second row entertainment, wireless charging, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I learned to drive on large vehicles. My mother had a 1970 Chrysler New Yorker with the brocade interior in gold, lovely brown outside. However, we're quite a bit higher up here. This is based on the platform, the frame of the Ram 1500 full-size pickup. Under the hood, we have a 6.4 liter V8, non-turbocharged. It's got 471 horsepower and it can really tow a lot. I think if they'd had a couple of these uh, back at the Suez Canal last year with that stuck freighter, they could have pulled it out with ease. If you like the sound of a V8 engine, you're gonna love the sound of this thing. Right from startup, they've, they've tuned the sound. They give you that really classic V8 tone. However, it comes at quite a cost. The fuel economy on this thing is absolutely terrible. Although it's based on the Ram truck, there are substantial differences here. There's an independent rear suspension. Also, air suspension. We can raise or lower the vehicle, perhaps for off-road situations. We've actually got plenty of pep for a very heavy vehicle, in excess of 6,000 pounds. But remember, when you're trying to stop, you've got more than 6,000 pounds of vehicle to slow down. Now, as pleasant as the ride in the Grand Wagoneer is, is, it can be a bit jiggly. I don't know if that's due to the air suspension or not. I mean, this is a quibble on my part, but it is there. Sometimes these three row SUVs don't have enough room for our standard cargo in the back. Not the case here with the Grand Wagoneer. It takes three bags of groceries, a backpack, and a stroller with ease. Underneath here, we have a cargo net as well as a cover for the cargo area. And this really is a truck because underneath here, there's a full-size spare tire.
rear-facing child seat is behind me here in the SS Grand Wagoneer, and as you might imagine, there's plenty of room for my knees up front. By the way, regarding child seats, there are two seats in the second row, three in the rear, and they are all equipped for child seats, both with top tether and with lower anchors. Well, it may be the second row of seats, but it's definitely first class back here. Each of the two occupants in the second row gets their own high definition display. Uh, you can jack in an HDMI, got headphones, got a charging port, got a little remote here, one for each screen and access to Netflix, Prime Video, Disney. We've also got a complete set of climate controls back here with HVAC vents in the center and on the side and the seat heat is controlled from here as well. Charging ports all over the place. There's one here, uh, there's two here, there's a couple in here as well. And we also have some ele electrical outlets. Uh, that is, we've got 12 volt DC on the right, 115 volt AC, 150 watt on the left. Pretty much everything back here. Kids who are relegated to the way back or just want to hide out there aren't completely deprived of nice things. There are USB connectors, plus their own moonroof with manually operated shade. Ingress and egress are helped by power folding second and third row seats activated from multiple locations, including just inside the lift gate. It's definitely an image car. I mean, if you're an owner showing up at the Kentucky Derby owner's lot with your horse trailer behind, this could be the one you want to show up in on Derby Day. But if you're just looking for a people hauler that also has a lot of luxury, I would suggest something else from the Stellantis family. The Pacifica plug-in hybrid minivan, which I tested last year and surprisingly fell in love with. It's got just as many seats as this thing, and it's got pretty close to all the luxury. If you can get by with just a front wheel drive vehicle that doesn't have 471 horsepower, you can get a really nice ride, easy to drive vehicle, still hold seven passengers, and you pay half the price of this thing. Well, that's our look at the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Very grand indeed. But what did you think? Leave a comment. Give us a like, of course, and thanks for subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.